Widespread shock as a social media platform actually enforces its own rules against leftists without giving them unfair exemptions. Amazon-owned Twitch has permanently banned Vouch and given Hassan Piker a one-week suspension for repeatedly using the C-word slur. Twitch includes the C-word in their harmful slurs or symbols list. Piker argued that the word was acceptable to use because there's no historical or contemporary oppression against whites. That is aside from the very contemporary fact that anti-white vitriol is prevalent at every level of society, from corporate media to social media, where Twitter literally hosts spaces called Why Do White People Exist? From Hollywood's enforced diversity to the exaltation of the browning of America, and the feverish celebration of the demographic decline of white people, to the fact that anti-white brainwashing literally riddles the education system in the form of CRT. That's why everyone's so shocked that Twitch took any action, because the only contemporary acceptable form of racism, the kind that in 99% of circumstances won't get you banned off any major platform is that directed against white people. Do I think people should be banned from streaming because they said an offensive word? No. But am I going to defend Piker and Vouch, two people who have repeatedly called for others to be deplatformed when they get deplatformed? No, I have zero sympathy. Just like I didn't care when Navara Media got banned for about five minutes. Despite a deluge of cringe conservatives rushing to their defence and helping them get reinstated, stated, thereby coming to the aid of the very same people who lobby for them to be silenced on a regular basis. Vouch celebrated when Molyneux got banned. He called for Stephen Crowder to be banned. Piker also lobbied Jack Dorsey to ban Candace Owens. And they'll both behave exactly the same whenever they ban me. I mean, come on, if I so much as even started an account on Twitch, they'd ban me before I was even able to make one broadcast. Vouch will probably just get reinstated by the end of the week anyway. That's what normally happens. And I'm sure Piker missing out on a whole week's worth of super chats won't really put much of a dent in his multi-million dollar mansion buying bank account. It seems despite both their fanatical vehemence in amplifying regime narratives, to the point where Vouch now literally defends the morality of global CIA interventionism like some kind of Bush era neocon, the regime is now ready to dispense with them anyway. Why the need to rely on left wing live streamers to socially re-engineer the kids when they're now doing it at the high school level anyway? But again, no sympathy. If you spend years helping giant corporations establish a power monopoly on who's allowed to engage in free speech, don't come crying to me when those same behemoths you helped empower decide to turn the lights out on you. To get exclusive content, early access, behind the scenes stuff, and to personally interact with me, please sign up for my community at pauljosephwatson.locals.com. Link in description, and thank you for your generous support.